it's good to, to kick it off here in Hong Kong uh, in front of a home crowd. I know the, the players themselves will be very proud to take the field uh, in the name of Hong Kong. Um, and you know, for me personally as a coach, uh, as you say, it's the first Asian series and I'm excited about uh, where the team's going and where, where our performances can go. The Asian 7 series is, is important in itself but also as a stepping stone to the Asian Games in October. Uh, and then also to Hong Kong Sevens after that to qualify the series and then long term go Olympics this time next year. Well, I mean, we're setting ourselves to win it. Um, you know, that's where we want to be. We want to be in finals. Uh, we know it's going to be tough. Some tough teams we've got to go uh, go across to, to get into those, that final and get ourselves in the position to, to win a tournament. But um, uh, the real goals we're setting is, is a standard in performance. And uh, we've talked about it a lot as a team. Um, that's what we need to see, a consistency in the way that we play and we manage games. Um, and if, we, if we're good enough to, that, to those levels that we set ourselves, we'll be in a final. I said from the start when I came to Hong Kong that the girls need more tournaments and the more tournaments we play I think the better they're going to get so it's, you know, it, it's very very crucial for our preparation to the Asian Games. You know, a, a big leap in the standards from last year. There's a lot of teams out there that have been putting a lot of resources and a lot of time into their sevens team. So I think from the standard that was seen last year, I think there'll be a, a big step up by a lot of teams. It's always good to play in Hong Kong. Um, crowds here are fantastic, uh, playing at Hong Kong Football Club as well is an awesome, awesome setting for, for rugby um, and hopefully the crowd will get behind us on Saturday and Sunday.